Oblivion? Oh, Lord. Lord of the hunt, lend me your teeth, that I may rend myself asunder and drag my poisoned shadows into your moonlight. Lend me your strength, that I may endure, your speed, that I might escape. Lend me your eyes, that I might see the path before me, and lead me through the fog of uncertainty.
Well, well met, met, Hunter. Well met, Lord Ursine. I... I need your help. You run. Chased up a tree like a bear to escape the hunt. If only I were a bear or had the strength of one. I feel more like a snake hiding from a heron. I can't... I can't run this time. Your fear will be your undoing, my hunter. Like a snake, you too have fangs. If only you did not fear to use them. Fangs without venom, my lord. So you may think. Lord Hersey, how... How can I escape her? How can I beat her? She knows everything about me. She knows... me. A single wolf cannot survive for long without his pack, my hunter. Even the drooling hounds of men will overpower him when caught alone. You even fear to speak your hunter's name. I... You say your fangs lack venom. Yet you abandoned your allies with your hissing and spitting. They'll get hurt if they try to follow me or protect me. Only a fool imagines that there is any path without thorns. Did you not hurt them already by slithering away into the brambles? You have been preyed upon by this adversary before. The scars she gave you chain you to your fear. I have seen others weighed down by the cage they carry with them. I watched when they turned the chase inside out and proved their hidden might. I have tested those who charged blindly forward like boars prodded to fury. The prey does not always fall. The hunter does not always eat. And if I become the prey again, is this your way of saying I'm on my own? Prey flees. But you, my hunter, have named yourself after one who waits. One who swims the shadowed channels that others fear to approach. You know your strength. A heron cannot hope to be a match for a crocodile. I don't... I don't feel like one right now. I feel frozen. Stuck out on a rock where I'm easy pickings. I don't know what to do, Lord Herzin. I... I don't think I can do... anything. Many of my children feel helpless when faced with their gifts. They feel as though they are at the mercy of the moons. Yet, you bear my gift. You can turn your skin pelt side out and see the world with more than your eyes. I don't control that either, Lord Herzin. I may not be commanded by the moons, but I can't control myself. But. That's not true, is it? Is that what you meant all that time ago when you told me to stalk the answer within myself? Another arrow hits its mark, my hunter. The wolf cannot survive without his pack. But I'm not a wolf. I named myself Cayman when I ran from the Brotherhood. And I did so for a reason. And like your sharp-eyed namesake, you too see what lies in the darkest parts of yourself. You are not powerless, my hunter. But even a caiman's eyes can be clouded by its own threshing. I muddy the waters of my mind once again. It's hard not to. I'm desperate, Lord Hercene. I want there to be a way out of this, but... I can't help but feel trapped. There is a way out of this. But the answer doesn't lie with me. It doesn't lie with me either. I... I don't know how to get out. That's why I came here. 
to ask you for help. Your words are an affront to your own might, my hunter. What might? I'm a coward. Here I am running and hiding when someone else would be fighting her head on. And where would that get them? Tell me this. What would she have you do? She would... Damn it, don't make me think about that, please. I... She... I... I don't know. Do you not? After so many years in her cage? You know her patterns. You know. I know you abandoned me when I was stuck with her. I know you thought of me as prey and nothing more. So you may think. What? Did I abandon you, my hunter? Or did you abandon yourself? Did you flee from your power and your desperation to survive? I... The wolf does not regret his survival. Yes. You listen like a hare, reacting to your environment. A wolf does what he must to survive. A hare simply flees. What have you done? I fled. Like a hare. Have you? Or have you come to stalk down the source of your dread and tear it out of yourself? I... I don't know. Yes, you do. Somewhere in the darkness of your mind, you know you left yourself behind. This is your chance to reclaim it. This is your chance to face the Inquisitor in yourself and tear her to pieces. This is your time to prove your true strength in this great arena that you call Nern. And as the lord of the arena, I shall revel in your struggle. That isn't especially comforting to hear, Lord Hersene. But I know what you mean. I don't really have a choice, do I? I can't not accept this test. The hunt is coming for me either way. Your choice. You are not as caged as you fear. You always have a choice. All things do. You can flee, or you can fight. You can scream, or you can remain silent. You can thrash about, or you can be still and listen. Be still. Be still, my listener. Lavala. Ah, what a tangle you have found. And what lies you've spun for yourself. What? Listen. Listen to yourself. Fine. I'm afraid I'll hurt myself if I tell him. I'm afraid he'll run. I want to trust that he's stronger and more emotionally resilient than I think he is, but... I really said that. You wove your own prophecy, my poet. You were not speaking of your beloved, were you? My... I... I can't believe I... He said he would not leave you. And yet, you ran. I was afraid. I'm still afraid. Afraid that you will hurt yourself? Afraid that he will reject you? Yes. Afraid that she'll kill him. That she, or someone, or something, 
will take him away from me. So you took yourself away from him instead. I... I couldn't stay. I heard him. He told me that himself. He said he couldn't do this again. What choice did I have? What choices did you give yourself? My listener, stubborn in your illusions, be still. Listen to the stories you are telling yourself. Listen to the stories that the world has given you. Listen to the voice of your Inquisitor that still echoes in your heart. How can I do that if I'm running for my life? Are you? What are you doing, my listener? I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm trying to ask for help. She has you in her net as we speak. You will never escape so long as you remain trapped. Yes, I know. I... How do I get out? It is not your body that is trapped, but your heart, your mind. That's what her scene said too, but I still don't know how to untrap myself. It's... I know I need to be still, I know I need to listen, but I can't do that when I'm afraid, and I'm terrified. I feel like she's going to find me at any moment and put me in that damn chair again. She's... She's going to make me into a monster again, after I've spent so much time figuring out how to be myself. How do you know who you are? If you have allowed so much to tangle you in webs and illusions, the hunter is correct. You must stalk within yourself the source of who you are behind all of the lies, behind all of the masks, the thing that drives you. What is it? It's survival? Isn't that what drives everything? Yes, that is a thing that you do. But is it who you are? Are you a survivor? Or are you a victim? I... Be still for a moment. Listen. Then speak. Can... Can I be both? I feel like both. Yes. A wound can only be treated if it is first recognized. An antidote cannot be applied without first knowing the poison. This is why you must listen. This is why you must hear the lies within yourself for what they are. So that you may begin to fight your sickness. Am I sick? You have been poisoned by years of cruelty. It left wounds in your heart and soul. But you were someone before you were poisoned. <laughs> I think that version of me is long dead, Mafala. I don't think I'll ever be able to get past this. Some scars never heal. Then you must define who you are in spite of them. 
Your chains can be a hindrance or a tool. The weight of fear on your shoulders can be a source of paralysis or a source of strength. I'm not sure if I'm strong enough to lift that weight right now. Not alone, perhaps. But this is why you turn to us. This is why you turn to the outside for help. Listen. What is the lie within that? I... I look to others because I don't believe I'm strong enough. I don't believe I'm anything enough. Do you really believe that? What do you mean? This. This is what the hunter does not understand about stalking. Or about you. He can lead you to a scent, but it is your responsibility to follow it. I can point out a thread, but it is your responsibility to see where the other end leads. You must follow that scent, listener. You must assassinate that lie within yourself. But you cannot do that if you do not know where it came from. I have to sort out which parts are me and which came from other people. Yes. I'm not sure where to start. It feels like so much. But do you know how? Do you have that lie as well? No. No. Not anymore. No, I think I finally understand what you two have been trying to tell me for... decades. I can hunt down those lies the same way I hunt down a person. And I need to before that fear consumes me again. Good. Where do you think you need to go to find yourself again? Home. Back to the beginning. Back to... before Hegatha. Before the Thalmor. I... It's hard to even remember back that far. Then be still. Listen to the world. Listen to yourself. And trust. Let us help you. Amma? Iruma, is that you? Um, I... What is this place? Where are we? How... 
save Radia Ingrath. There are places where the realms of oblivion touch the world of the living, where the weave is thin enough to see through. The hunting grounds are no exception. This is one such place. Um, they killed you. The Thalmo killed you. Yes, Kindore. Yes, they did. Now I hunt with my mother and her mother and my uncle, back through all the mothers and daughters and sons of our clan. Oh. My gentle one, have you come to join us? I don't even know if I can anymore. Nonsense. Come, sit with me. Let me braid your hair. Ma, I'm not a kid anymore. No, but you are still my son. The son of skin changers and seers between. The blood of Cairon of the old Rulanyo. And look how strong you've become. Can you forgive me? For what, sweet boy? For not being strong enough. They killed you. Our line dies with me. And now I might not even be able to join you in the hunting grounds because I... because I got scared and... And found power in a place most would only find fear. You are still my son, Ingra. And I love you and I'm proud of you, no matter what. I always have been. And I always will be. Amma. Come. Sit, sweet boy. I won't braid your hair this time. Mother, how do you talk to the gods? I hear you whisper to them, but I don't hear what they say back. All life is a song, gentle one. To hear the echoes of the gods, you must listen without using your ears. That doesn't make any sense. Does it not? We do it all the time. What do you hear when you see a dangerous animal? You hear the prey song, and you run. Oh. Does the hunter have a song? Yes. All things do. Even you do. What does it sound like? Only you can know that, sweet child. I do believe your notes are still forming. I want to hear what the hunter sounds like. Well then come. Sit with me. But you must be very, very quiet and listen. You told me once that everything has a song. Ah, I remember. I remember you wondering what your song was. Have you found it yet? No. And I feel like I don't have one anymore. I remember the day I learned about the Green Pact, too. But those who break it have their songs replaced with silence. And here I am, barely able to speak, let alone sing. Well, it's a good thing we are not completely Bosmer, is it not? Our songs are quiet and shifting, but they cannot be broken by any force in this world. Neither can those songs of any Bosmer that stray from that pact. How so? Ifre gave herself to become the bones of the world. Some believe that is where she remained. Some believe he became Hersey instead. And what do you believe? That no matter their ultimate fate, Ifre no longer commands what we do with our songs, gentle one. Is that what brought you here? You feared you had been replaced with silence. No. I'm afraid. I'm just afraid. I'm running from something and I don't know... I don't know how to escape it. It's part of my song now, that fear. And I realize now that it doesn't have to be, but... I've been so scared for so long. I've forgotten what it was like to be anything else. I don't know what I could replace that part of me with, except for silence. 
Oh, Miruma, I am so sorry. Life has not been kind to you. Life doesn't seem to be kind to anyone, Ama. It is kinder to some, but I understand. It is easy for me to say these things from here. Perhaps the best thing to do for now is silence your fear. At least until you find something else to replace it with. Gods, Ma, I wish I could. I so wish I could. But it's what's kept me alive this long. I can't just... I can't cut it out completely. Is it fear or caution? Caution can be helpful. I'd kind of forgotten the difference. Yes. Yes. Caution, not fear. <laughs> Maybe I'll make that my new mantra. That's my boy. What do you think you would like your song to be? Strong, brave, smart. I don't know. One would think a hundred years would be enough to figure that out. Ah, Kindore. I'm so sorry you feel this way. You are so strong and so brave. It's so smart, even when sometimes you make mistakes. Or go off hunting crocodiles without supervision. You did have your witless moments, but we all do. There is no being or nerd who truly knows what they are. We are all making up the words as we go along. Some are better at it than others. Sorry about that. I... Don't think I ever really said sorry about that. You did. And I forgave you then, even though I was scared and angry and made you stay home for a month. I forgive you again. Don't worry. <laughs> I kind of deserved it for that one. Ama, I miss you. I know. I miss you too, Kinore. And I am so proud to see that you escaped. You are strong enough, Miruma. You are swift enough. There is nothing in this world that could hold you down for long. Even when I should probably stay put. I found someone, Ama. He's... I wish you could meet him. I wish I hadn't run from him. Oh. Is he cute? <laughs> Ma. Yes, he's very cute. And smart. And brave. And strong. I... Oh. Oh? Yeah. Oh. Ah. I see. Then perhaps what you really need is to run back to him, gentle one. Even if the way back is dangerous. Ama. Miruma. <laughs> I remember a flame-haired young man, clambering barefoot all over the trees and roots of the green shade, bow in hand, completely unshaken by the snakes and tigers and crocodiles that might be lurking in the shadows. Sorry again. I'm... Realizing, now that I've been responsible for a few kids, how much I must have worried you. Oh? Any of your own? No. Although, now I realize how irresponsible I've been running from one of them. I think I need to apologize to her. Children are more understanding than you think, Miruma. And I would not blame you for wanting to protect her from all of this. She will forgive you. So will your heart, if he is what you say he is. Thank you, Ama. I miss you, but with any luck I won't have to join you until... I don't know. Yes. I know your pain. We never said goodbye. The one time I didn't make it back. Well... I have a long road back to myself. I hope I make it home this time. You will. 
And if not, I have faith that your home is looking for you right now, and will find you when you need him. A prophecy I hope comes to pass. I love you, Amma. Tandanya Niyando, gentle one.